Okay, taking out more rocks and they've cooled down. And as you can see how super duper bright they are, it almost looks like it like took a layer of the rocks off that bleach with the hot water really works. And then we're just gonna take it over to the um, fish tank and put everybody in. And you know, what's funny is sometimes you decorate it and it looks really, really good. And then other times it looks better than the last time. You just never know. So just kind of play with it for a little while and kind of try to decorate it. But there's no wrong or right way I like kind of stacking the rocks so that like, there's like little paths so the fish can swim underneath of it. And you can see how the, the rock kind of shakes a little bit. The big thing is just to make sure that it doesn't fall over and hit the glass. And just kind of arrange it equally so that all the different colors of rocks are, um, you know, but whatever floats your boat. And then we're going to go back and get some more plants. And put some rocks in and then just kind of take your plants and kind of try to remember where the last place was you left them, where you took them out last time and stick everybody in and decorate your tank. Just what I do is kind of hold this like the waiters hold a, um, a, a plate and just kind of walk around the tank and put all your plants in. And what I do is I kind of grab some of the gravel like this to kind of throw inside of the bottom of the, um, the little plastic thing that holds the plant down. And my shirt always seems to get wet when I do this, so I keep a little towel here to kind of dry off. And I'll check in with you in a second when I get all this in. Okay, I got all the uh, aquarium plants back into the fish tank. And as you can just see, it just took me about three seconds, three minutes to get everything together. And this is the result of putting uh, all the plants back in. And now the final thing to do to the tank, or one of the final things to do, is as you can see, there's still a little bit of space right here where we can add some more water. So using the same technique that we used earlier, this little uh, bucket, we're going to go over to the um, sink and put a little bit more water here and top off the top of the fish tank. Now while this is filling up and I'm kind of mixing it with hot and cold water so it can bring it to right temperature, the next thing that we do is clean out the dishwasher. Just look in the dishwasher to make for sure there's no um, little loose gravel. Sometimes there's little pieces of gravel in here. And then as a safety precaution, what I do is I go ahead and I rerun the dishwasher empty this time. I put a little bit more um, Clorox in it and I turn it on one more cycle and let it run empty just to make for sure that everything is nice and clean inside the dishwasher. And then as this is filling up, again, we can take our wonderful stuff called Stress Coat without measuring just pour some more in there and that will put all the goodness and take all the badness out and we'll top off the tank okay walking back over to the aquarium and I have my bucket of water and uh, just slowly pouring it into the top of the tank so it doesn't mess up the whole tank and just slowly pouring it in keeping a close eye on the top so that we don't overfill it and if we need more we're gonna fill up one additional bucket Okay, the final bucket of water has been uh, put into the tank. So now the aquarium has been topped off. And now I'm putting the lids back on to the top of the tank and getting everything back ready. And now we can put the canopy. And so this is the result of what the tank looks like now. As you can see, there's no algae on the tank at all. And let's go around and I'll show you all the different views of what it looks like. And by the way, I'll show you the different types of fish I have. Now the tank is clean, you can actually see it. This is a barb called an albino barb. This guy here is called a red hook. Some people call them silver dollars because see that little hook on the bottom, so that's why they call them a red hook. And this one here is a tiger barb. And here's an albino barb. There's the tiger barb, sorry about that. So there's the tiger barb, there's the albino barb. And that's tinfoil barb right there. And so total, I have nine tin foil barbs. I have two red hooks, five of these little guys here, which are also barbs, albino, and five tiger barbs. And they all live happily together. And I've had everybody in this tank now without any fish losses or deaths. And this will make their third year in this home. And I do believe that the key factor of having a healthy fish tank is only removing about 25% of the water are only draining it down about that far every week or every two weeks. 
as you see necessary and keeping the heater on at about 79 degrees and also having good filtration which as you can see back there I showed you earlier the mechanical filtrations which I have on the back and also down here having the uh, filter that takes the out for biological and here's the air pump and that's my tank and that's how I clean it and then there's one final step uh, we're gonna put the canopy back on and clean the front of the glass So here's the finished product. I just gave the fish a little bit of fish food to thank them for allowing us in the tank. And as you can see, all the algae is gone. And the tank is absolutely crystal clear from start to finish. Anywhere you look, anywhere in the tank, of course, other than the back wall, because I always let the algae stay on the back wall. But other than the back wall, anywhere where most of the guests of my home can see, it's just a nice clean fish tank with big beautiful fish and as I said all these fish I've had now for about three years I have nine barbs I have two of the red hooks and five tiger barbs and five albino barbs so it's a pretty full tank but yet it stays perfectly clear and clean and the fish are happy so I hope this video was very informative and that you enjoyed it and that you liked it and um, that it helps you maintain your tank. I think these two guys right here are my favorite. Ah, maybe I should name them. And before we go, I want to give you one final view of inside the water just so you can see how crystal clear the water is and it's only been probably 30 to 45 minutes since we did the initial um, where we uh, removed the water using the uh, gravel cleaner and just one more final view here so you can see all the way to the very bottom absolutely crystal clear probably cleaner than any lake that's known to man And there you go, one final view of the tank. This is a 75 gallon freshwater tank. And one of the reasons why I like this type of fish is because they're so easy to maintain and they live a long time and they really require very low maintenance and they don't die very often on you. <laughs> oh, almost forgot to tell everybody the last thing that I do. I use this dollar stuff that I buy at Walmart. Basically what it contains is bleach. And when I'm done, I spray it all in the um, sink and the garbage disposal just to kill anything that might be bad on the countertops and make sure everything is nice and sanitized so that when we have food, we don't have any problems. And as you can see, the dishwasher is still going. And that's just a straight water run with a little bit of bleach inside of it to make for sure that the dishwasher is clean so that whenever we uh, put our dishes back in it, it's no algae in there that might harm people. Alrighty, hope this video was informative. And once again, there's my tank. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope I've been a good host and that you may have a happy fish tank for many years to come. Have a great day.